everyone, it's your girl Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a brow routine. This is how I fill in my brows. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you some of the few things that you will need. The products that you're going to need is very few. Of course, they could vary on what you want to use for your brows. But if you guys are a beginner with doing your brows, and if you guys don't really know too much about filling in your brows, and you just want to start with basic, you can go ahead and follow these steps. So you're going to need a brow gel. You could use a high-end or a drugstore brow gel. There's the Benefit Give Me. There's the, like... Brow Drama by Maybelline or like there's the NYX. There's tons and tons of brow gels that you can use. I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama. This one is in soft brown. You're also going to need something to brush through your brows. You could use a spoolie if you wanted to. I don't have one so instead I'm using this brush here. The next thing that you're going to need is the most important thing of all. This is my Angled Gel Liner Brush by Sonia Kashuk. This was in the limited edition brush set that I reviewed. This is for gel eyeliner but I love to use it for my brows because it is so flat and it's thin and it's angled and it's perfect. As you guys can see, this is a very small and angled, very great for precision kind of brush. I love using this one. You want to make sure that it is angled and it is thin just because if it's a little bit more thick and if it's like flat, it's going to be harder. I mean, you could get away with using a flat one, but I prefer the angled one just because of that precision. And to go along with your brush, you're going to want a brow powder. You could use an eyeshadow. I've used an eyeshadow for the powder. I've got this Ulta brow powder here. Of course, like I was saying, you could use some shadows. Make sure that the shadow that you use is matte. And matte basically just looks like this. It has no shimmer at all. You do not want to put shimmer eyeshadow into your brows. You want to make sure that it's matte. You also want to make sure to match this to your hairs. Of course, you could go a shade lighter. I know that people like to keep their brows a little bit lighter than their natural like hair. Make sure that when you are filling in your brows or for the first time, find the shape of your brows. My so now that you guys know about everything that you're going to need, let's go ahead and get into the actual brow tutorial. Alright, so... I'm going to start by taking my little brush here and combing my hairs. I like to brush up and sort of to the side and then like downwards basically. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the brow brush that I use and I'm going to dip this into the brow powder and I like to pat it off just so that way I don't get too much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the entire I'm going to use the entire surface of the brush. So not just the point, not just the end, not just the sides. I'm going to make sure I keep it flat and use the entire surface of the brush. So I'm going to start in my like inner area of the brow. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow my natural line starting here. Using the entire brush, keeping it flat, and I'm just going to stroke like this. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way through, making sure to keep it nice and flat, and just going with strokes. I never just go like one full line. And right here in this area where my brows curve, I just go straight through with the brush, just like this. And then I'll go ahead and grab some more brow powder, and then right at the curve, I'm going to keep my brush really flat but I'm going to make sure I curve really get that curve in the brush to make sure that I define the shape of my brows then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the top of the brows and I like to start somewhere in the middle and then right here on our little curve right here on the arch Again, keep the brush very flat, but make sure to really curve that area. I'm going to take this brow powder here. So now that the entire shape of my brows is pretty much defined, I'm going to go ahead back in with the brow powder and I'm going to start filling in the brows. So normally I like to keep it nice and dark here on the outer end areas. And I just do strokes, putting the brow powder into the hairs on my brows. And then I'll come over here, and I'll do strokes, but I'll also turn the brush and stroke upwards. 
and sideways. This is what the brow looks like now. Now you can go ahead and set the brows using your brow gel. I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama. Push these hairs up a little bit more and then I'll start to curve those hairs. Now, you can go ahead and conceal like underneath these lines and get a nice and sharp. I don't really like to do that just because I feel like my brows are already like really intense and defined. So I don't like to do that, but of course if your eyebrows are a little bit like thinner, a little bit smaller than mine's are, you can go ahead and do that. I just feel like since my brows are actually sort of thick, I don't need to add that extra like definition around my brows. But of course you could if you wanted to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.